Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can take an arpeggio like this and using my favorite feature of hybrid reverb, turn it into a beautiful frozen pad like this, which you can then sample and use like this. Hybrid Reverb is one of my favorite plugins in Ableton Live. It's not only an immensely versatile reverb, but it is a powerful sound design tool. And in particular, the feature that we're gonna focus on today is its freeze function, which allows you to transform any sound into a beautiful shimmering pad. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that. I'm gonna help you understand the freeze function, how it works, and how you can layer sounds together using the freeze in function as well. Towards the end of the video, I'll show you how you can resample the pads that you've made to then create the kind of ambient pad that I am using in the example that you heard at the start of this video. Now, if you want to follow along with this tutorial using all of the exact devices that I highlighted at the beginning of this video, you can pick them all up from my website. They're a part of my total Ableton preset pack. What I wanna focus on today is the algorithmic side of the reverb. So I'm going to switch from parallel to algorithm, and we're gonna focus over here, particularly this freeze function. So at any point, you can select the freeze button, and that will freeze whatever signal is currently going through hybrid reverb. You can disengage the freeze just by simply clicking the freeze button off. Now where a lot of the flexibility with freeze comes in is when we take into account the freeze in function as well, which allows us to add additional input into the freeze on top of what's already present in the buffer. I've gone ahead and adjusted our clip. I have shortened this chord and then I've added just this nice little melody over top. Now I'm gonna go ahead and automate the freeze to turn on during the chord. Now what we're going to hear is the chord carry on past the end of the MIDI notes because it is in the buffer of hybrid reverbs freeze function. And then we're going to hear these additional notes play on top. And we hear the notes end. Now I can use the freeze in function to selectively add certain notes into the buffer. I'm going to add both this third note of the first phrase into this buffer and I'm going to add the second note of the second phrase into our frozen buffer. Okay, so let's use hybrid reverbs freeze function to create a beautiful chord one shot that I can then resample and use in a track. So I am using as my root instrument, the endless string, which you can pick up from my website. And you can click this card above if you are interested in watching how I created this from a video a few weeks back. I'm then using the freezer, which is the newest rack in my total bundle, taken hybrid reverb, as well as then boiled down another of functions into some performance racks that I can then just use to create this one shot. So I've got the quality of the reverb set to old and a little bit of modulation happening. I've got my chord laid out here. So first I am going to set the freeze to engage and then I'm going to set the freeze in to engage just after that so it picks up what's happening here. Then I will go ahead and I will hit record so that we can capture the output. So I'm gonna bring up the wet dry. I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. And I have captured this drone. 
So now to take advantage of this, I'm gonna go ahead and grab an instance of Sampler, load it up into a new MIDI track and drop in this drone that I've created. So now I've got it set up in Sampler with a little bit of a loop. I've gone ahead and sequenced a pattern and I'm gonna go ahead and feed it into my reverb and my delay bus. And we're gonna hear the lush kind of pitch shifting pad sound. It's reminiscent of early jungle and drum and bass. And if I wanted to process this a little further, I'm gonna give it a little bit more gain. I'm gonna to go to the pitch oscillator tab, use the spread function to increase the stereo width. And I'm gonna add a little bit of a pitch envelope starting at negative 12 that is going to sweep in over 300 milliseconds. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please consider subscribing, liking, and leaving a comment. Your support means so much to me as I'm working to try to grow this channel to 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2025. As I mentioned at the start of this video, you can pick up all of the presets that I have highlighted in this tutorial on my website. They're part of my total bundle. Till next time.